Hey guys, um, as you can tell, it's fall again, and we're gonna do the, uh, what I like to do, the annual pumpkin jack-o'-lantern for my channel. Last year we did um, the trek lantern and what I did was I did the USS Enterprise, and it came out pretty good. I put like LEDs in with the starboard and the port lights. This year, um, I think we're gonna do a spark -a lantern um, I'm gonna do Mr. Spark, and we're gonna set it up out here, and I'm gonna be kind, guys, because I'm gonna freehand draw it, and then we're gonna sculpt it, and then we're gonna light it. We're gonna do the spark -a lantern this year. Okay, so I picked out my Spock lantern I think he looks really good. Nice and tall. We'll be able to do the design of the face. Now, the first thing I did was I washed it, and I cleaned out the inside. So, the pumpkin has been cleaned, cleaned out, it's been washed. Figure right about over here. I got a knife to cut the outline and I got a butter knife to carve it out. Of course, I have a pumpkin carving kit, but I can't find it. I've got a Sharpie. I've got two of them. I want to see if this one works or not. And let's see, we're going to start. thinking about doing something like right over here so I saw a couple of um, patterns for Star Trek and like I said this is gonna be Mr. Spock so let's let's do an area because I'm not gonna cut all the way through so let's see if we go like this and we make it come down this way I don't know if that'll be big enough. Make it go a little higher, like that. Bring, a little, bring it down a little bit, maybe like that. That'll be, so this will be the work area. So, we figure we put his face right in over here.
think that's as good as I'm going to get it. What I was trying to do, I was trying to make a negative, a negative image of Mr. Spock. And it was harder than I thought, a lot harder than I thought, especially freehand. I'm trying to use the cartoon, the Star Trek, the animated series for inspiration on how to make them look. Um, I ended up taking up more than I wanted to, but because I kept making mistakes, I had to whittle it down until it got smaller and smaller. So right now, we're all set to put a candle in and we're gonna see how it looks lit up. Okay, so it's finally nighttime and I think we're gonna light it up. You can see I got a tea light candle. See if I can do this without dropping it. Yeah, nice. Now the thing with this is, we didn't go all the way through. So there's gonna be no airflow. So the candle is gonna snuff out. So we're gonna to have to kind of keep it open. So let's go ahead and put the lights down. Not very bright, is it? Seem to find anything bright enough that can go inside. You know what it is? It's because the pumpkin's thick. 